Hi, this is this is a quick demo of our EC4760 final project. We are doing a two-axis gesture control camera platform. As you can see, this is our mechanical assembly. Right now, the camera is in its neutral position. The whole device has three modes. The first one is a joystick along with several buttons. The joystick has two axes, which is X and Y. When we move the joystick in the Y direction, the camera will move up and down. And if we move the joystick in the X direction, the whole platform will rotate to will rotate to the left and right. There are four buttons on the right, which are labeled D3 to D6. D3 is used to reduce the speed of the whole platform to a quarter of the speed. So when you press and hold it down, if you try to move it up and down, the speed will be slower than before. And it's the same with left and right, which make it more precise to control the platform. There are three buttons left. The D5 is used to, fo is used to focus the camera. So when you, pre when you press the button, the the shutter cable, well, there will be a focus signal sent through the shutter cable to the camera. And as for D6, this is to notify the camera to release the shutter, and which will take a photo. It will, it will take a photo every time you press the button. Of course, the mode, the mode is adjustable by camera setting. And the, 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 D, the button D4 is used to switch to the other mode. As I've, as I've mentioned, there are three modes in total. So the, the other two modes use, uh, use the accelerometer to decide the velocity or position of the whole platform. So when you press the button once, it will be switched to the mode where it uses the IMU to control the speed of the platform. So you can see here, the, this is the Adreno Nano with a built-in with a, with a built 9, 9 degree of freedom IMU, and we are using the accelerometer module in it. So when you tilt it to the left, the platform will move to the left, and when you tilt it to the right, the platform will move to the right, and so it, it's the same with up and down. So as you can notice, right now the, right now the velocity of the platform is related to the orientation of the, of the Adreno. So which, which means that the, the further you tilt to the left, the, fa the faster it will turn to the left. And the same with the right, up, and down. There's a gesture sensor on the camera, on the Adreno. So we will move the hand, which basically achieve the same functionality of the button. So when you, ho when you hover, your middle, hover, hover your finger to here, and take a closer look here. When you hover your finger across it, it will detect the presence of a finger, which will be indicated by a blinking LED light. We will move closer, it will detect, register it as a shutter event, which will take a photo. So it, will, it, will it will take a photo every time you press the sensor. The last mode, the last mode is map the IMU orientation to the position of the whole platform. So when you press, press the D4 again, press it once, it will return to the zero position. And when you tilt to the left, it will stop as a position that corresponding to the angle. The full range of the horizontal orientation achievable by this mode is from minus 90 to, to positive 90, with zero being the initial position I show you. As you can see right now, the position is the orientation, the orientation of the Adreno is mapped to the orientation of the camera. Of course, you can still take the photo by hovering, your, by, first you can focus by hovering your finger on top of the sensor and then when you press it, it will take a photo. And when you have the, and when you have the, when you press the same button, when you press the button D4 again, it will switch back to the original mode, which is controlled by the joystick. That's all from project. Thank you for listening.